Hey guys, it's Mr. Tanuki once again welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. I'm actually going to head to the Toad House uh, because we've got two things open to us after completing World 1 2. We've got a Toad House, which is just quick and we can easily do it. Um, so if I know anything, it's going to be the small one that has a lot in it. There we go. Uh, okay, so now we have a cat suit and we have a cat suit spare. Although I don't know if maybe we should have gone for the fire flower because now we're going to head into a boss fight. And then once that boss fight's done, we're going to head into world 1-3. So you get a bit of extra content today, guys. Because you get a boss fight, you get a toad house, and you get world 1-3. So I hope you are happy. Let's go random. I hope we get Peach. Mario! Okay, so we're, we're not doing well uh, at showing much variety at the moment. We're just pretty much uh, showing two of the same characters. That was very quick and easy. Get that green star, though. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll show a character this episode that's not Mario or Luigi. I'm hoping for Princess Peach, but I also really want Blue Toad. I wish you could... Okay, here's the thing that bothered me in New Super Mario slash New Super Luigi U. You know how you... And in New Super Mario Brothers Wii, actually. So, you had the yellow and the blue toad, right? But I feel like you should have been able to choose their colours. Like any multiplayer game, I feel like you should be able to choose their colours. Or you could use Mario's, they're different colours. Like, why is that so difficult to understand, Maya? Like, why did I say meh? What, what kind of word is that? Meh? I don't know. Oh, there's a cave here. I'm not going to show it this episode. I'll show it maybe next episode. Uh, Mount Bean Pole. Bean, I love beans. Not baked beans. I love string beans or green bit a uh, peach oh queen peach yes slay bitch <laughs> slay bitch yes oh actually are you serious actually no you're a you're a cat one so we can get a no we can't why did we not get oh it's only certain ones or maybe you have to kill them in a in a specific way to actually get it uh what i was gonna say is i saw there were actually things here okay the stamps there I'm willing to bet there's, like, something in that power block. Because that's suspiciously, like, covering a hole in the wall. Uh, that's definitely glowing, that cloud up there. So, we've got to get up there. Uh, that looks like everything we need. So, it's basically just a mountain. And the reason I headed back is because I realised that there were trees and stuff. And uh, it might be worth actually going up them like I just did. Because I feel like they're going to have something up. Uh, okay, there we go. That's a good example, actually. Uh, so, it's a good thing I did head back. Kind of worth losing the power up. I'm going to switch to the cat suit because I'm almost certain... We are actually going to end up getting another cat suit, like we must do, or get another power up at least, which I could then ah, <laughs> die, sir. Die. Okay, there we go. That's a nice cat suit there, and then you, and then excuse me, sir. I wish it was like uh, I wish it was like um, <laughs> like Super Mario 64, where you could just like tiptoe around them and it just played the music really, really slow. I love that. That was always like one of my favourite. Uh, parts of Mario 64. Oh, there's a pipe. Is this going to take us to the top or will this... Yeah, this is taking us to a secret area. Oh, oh no. So I assume you definitely need the cat suit for this because I assume it's timed, right? It definitely seems like it would be timed. Like, this is something that you would expect to have timed. It's kind of like the, the break... Yeah, you definitely need the cat suit because you need to be able to climb this wall to collect them all. And I'm assuming once you collect them all, yes you do, you get a green star! Green star! I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, and I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm super excited to be playing a 3D Mario game again, especially one that I didn't think I'd be picking up for a while. Like, this has been on my backlog uh, for Let's Play and for ages. Absolutely ages. Okay, gonna collect that. We don't need it, but <laughs> collect it just cuz. Uh, okay, so where else did we need to go up to? So we got some coins there. Um, let's head up this tree. There's obviously nothing in here. Like, I should know that because we literally got to the top of it. But it's always nice to climb every tree you can. Experience your childhood. Climb trees. Make love to trees. Don't do that. That would be weird. You'll get acorns on your dick. <laughs> what? Of all things you could get on your dick, it had to be acorns, didn't it? Well done, Daniel. Okay, so I think we are actually... Uh, yeah, you definitely need the cat suit in this level, it seems, because I'm assuming that is just, like, required for a cat suit, you know? Because they had the, 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 the paw print on it and shit, like, it's just, it's just awesome. Okay, just, just running, 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 Oh, crap, man. Don't worry, Peach. Don't worry, Peach. You still got your flutties. 
You, 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 that sounds like she's still got her slutties. I meant to say flutter jump. Although she doesn't really have a flutter jump. She just has like a, a thing. Okay, so we've collected everything so far. We literally just need the top of the flagpole, which is awesome. Um, I can't believe I almost missed you. I almost lost another cat suit, which would be insane. Uh, okay, I know there's going to be stuff in here. No, there's not. But they're jumping around. So that makes me believe that there will be like coins. Ah! Die. Oh. Ha! Ha ha! <laughs> Anything up these trees? It's got to be something up the trees. Come on. Old Lumberjack Mario will, or Peach will do this. Lumberjill. <laughs> okay. Lumber, 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 lumber. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I want to test out this cat climbing thing. It, yeah, there we go. So it worked that time. And I did push up the analog stick. But I don't know if that actually does make a difference but yes every level so far we've collected everything guys and that actually does make me feel really happy like i love being a completionist i can't guarantee we will 100 this game but i'm gonna try my best guys i really will try my best i'm super excited uh for the rest of this playthrough and we already almost got as many green stars as i got in my first file which wasn't really like a real file that's kind of like a practice we've unlocked two new levels and we got a captain toad level how are you finding things so far you can thank you Actually, we might do that. I wonder what the manual looks like. I was actually going through the game case of this game. And I saw, like, it still had, like, an intact uh, Club Nintendo code. You know, the ones where you had to the scrub off, like, the lottery, lottery ticket kind of thing. Um, character selection. Oh. Oh, hello, Mario and Peach and, and Luigi and Blue Toad. Oh, Toad is so cute. I love him. I just love him. Darling, I love the Toad. Okay, next episode, we're going to be tackling... Um, can, Yeah, we can do the Captain Toad. You know what, guys? I think I am going to do Captain Toad next episode. And then we'll move on to... Wait, we should move on to World 1-4, which is Plessy's Plunging Falls. And then World 1-5, which makes sense, obviously. Which is Switch, Scramble Circus. The so next episode, we're going to be doing the Captain Toad level. Then we're going to move moving on the episode after to Plessy's Plunging Falls. See you next episode for the Captain Toad. Have a good day and a goodbye.